Hello guys, in this video we're going to scrape images from Pinterest.com and in this video uh, we'll use a bit unusual tool compared to the previous videos. Uh, it's called uh, Web, Web Grabber Chrome extension. That's uh, a little Chrome extension that I've uh, written recently and uh, what it does, it helps us to get already dynamically rendered HTML content that uh, is available actually in this particular page. So if you just uh, try to view the page source, uh, you won't really see uh, all these pins, all these images, but instead uh, only the JavaScript, uh, uh, on, only the JavaScript to dynamically append these guys via API or something. I'm not sure really, but. Uh, so we won't be really we won't be doing any requests from our scraper today so instead we'll just use this Chrome extension and uh, grab uh, the, uh, the code of uh, the HTML uh, of the HTML page and uh, the link uh, I'll leave the link to the web grabber Chrome extension below the video and also the link to the video on how to install uh, uh, this particular extension and how to use it, but, but basically you already see how to use it. So I just copy this content to the clipboard and now um, I just want to create a new file called name uh, images.html and I simply paste the content in. Okay, and just save it and also I would like to create a folder called images to uh, store the scraped images to into that particular folder so well let's actually let's basically start writing some code so we won't be uh, we won't need request library so we can start right off with importing the beautiful soup so say from bs4 import beautiful soup beautiful soup like this and let's define the class uh, called Pinterest uh, scraper like this so the very first method would be let's call it load load images uh, here we would be loading uh, our HTML response basically then we'll need to parse it so the def Parse. I just forgot to import to add the self instance here. Okay. Parse self instance and the HTML string as well. Pass. Uh, also, let's create the download method. So uh, this this one would be used to actually download the images from. From their sources self and the URL to uh, download image from and also the driver uh, here called run so like this okay now let's draft if name equals Case we want to create a scraper instance, so I say scraper equals Pinterest scraper and scraper dot run. Uh, now let's try to run, to run this. So I say Python three. How, how the file called Pinterest scraper? Okay, Pinterest scraper.py Pinterest scraper is not defined Pinter. okay probably some sort of a type of that okay now it works so the very first thing to consider here is just we actually want to allow the content from images.html so I say simply with open uh, images dot html I want to open the file string for to read the file as image 
and also would like to create a HTML variable of the string type and here uh, just look uh, over the uh, so uh, over the okay just for uh, over the lines for line in image dot read over the file lines here and simply uh, populating the HTML with the line with the line one by one. At the very end, we want to return the HTML here. So now let's have uh, now in our run method, let's actually call uh, self dot load images and store this to the HTML variable like this. HTML equals like this. And the second thing we want to do, we actually want to um, call self dot parse. And, pa and pass the HTML variable to the parse method. So here in the parse, we can check that out if HTML has been loaded correctly or not. So let's actually check that out. So, okay, our HTML is available. That's pretty good. So now it's time to parse the content. So I create a content variable equals to beautiful soup and HTML. Uh, this uh, particular HTML content uh, as the first ar argument to, to as the first ar ar argument to parse, and the parser itself will be using LXML parser here. And now we need to extract all the images. So I say images equals. Uh, we can actually search them by. Uh, we can search search them by the class name th there is one but actually uh, instead of uh, only this picture so, so th there is only uh, only a couple of pictures here as the user avatar so I, I won't really be bothered with specifying that classes and I would simply use the list comprehension to extract all the image sources available okay so of course you can specify the class names yourselves if you like if you've been watching my previous uh, web scraping videos, you definitely know how to do that. So I say just image source. So we need to extract the source for image. The technique used here is called the list comprehension. It's the standard Python technique for image in. Uh, content dot find all and here I specify the tag we're supposed we're, we're looking at, so images. And now let's actually loop over the images and quickly print them just to make sure that uh, they have been uh, extracted, they, that they were extracted successfully. So I say for image in images, print image like that. So let's quickly check that out. Okay, so here is the list of our images. So if uh, you can see that not really that much of images here. So if you really want to have more images, say all the images available on that particular URL, before clicking this uh, web graber extension button, you, you need first to uh, scroll down. Uh, here is the infinite scroll, uh, probably at some point. So they would be dynamically. Uh, the images would be appended dynamically, and as far as you are satisfied with the amount of the pins you're supposed to scrape, in that case you can just simply click the web grabber extension button one more time. And th in this case, the new elements uh, would be appended to the source, so it would be bigger. And respectively, here. You will get more images, but uh, uh, I'm making this video just as a proof of, of concept, so no need to to grab all the particular images. But just to bear in mind that you can scroll down uh, as as much as you want to append the content dynamically. Okay, so I'm just I just already said that. So the next uh, thing to consider, we actually want to return we don't really want to print here anything instead we simply want to return this list so just say return like this and now uh, what we're supposed to do here so let's create a variable called URLs and now we can loop over the URLs so assuming that the URLs the is a type of Python list 
So I simply say for URL in URLs, and here we want to call the download method that would be, that would actually be down be downloading our images. So here uh, I say uh, simply self dot download and the URL as an argument. So now let's actually uh, define a couple more variables here. So oh, let's let's bring the URL one more time to to make sure that they didn't. Uh, they were not lost uh, okay somewhere on the way so not uh, URLs like this okay okay so they are they all are over here and now we need to extract the uh, file name to use it when we will be storing our files to the images folder so uh, in order to do that so I just I just simply need to say file name equals URL remember the URL or the one the single URL is a string so we can use the split method we can split by the uh, by this uh, slash and use uh, minus one which stands for the very last uh, element in the list okay so let's uh, let's actually try to print the file names here so I say file name Okay, so now we we uh, we have extracted the file names out uh, of the entire URLs. So this is just great. So uh, now let's actually create uh, a response object. So I say response equals to request. Okay, so uh, I just fooled you guys. I'm sorry. We actually need the request. So we don't need the request to download the, uh, uh, the the initial HTML but we need the request of course just to be able to download the images themselves I'm really sorry for that so we need actually to import requests like this okay so response equals to requests dot get and the URL here now uh, actually uh, let's let's break up the very first one so i just want to test the download function itself so just to, uh, in order to avoid torturing uh, the pinterest site uh, i'll be just uh, uh, i'll be trying to download just the only page so um, let's actually print uh, response objects so it should have been uh, with the status code of 200s okay that means that everything is actually uh, uh is going is going fine here so but still we need to specify to make to for, for the safety purposes to say just if response dot status code uh, equals 200 in this case we'll be uh, storing our images so i say simply with open and now uh I'm, I'm specifying the images the images folder here so uh, I don't want to write to the uh, folder to the current working directory but instead to the images and if you're on Windows this uh, definition of the subfolder might be a bit different so please bear that in mind uh, if you're on Linux you can just follow my code as is okay and then we need to append the file name that we just extracted from from the URL and also uh, we want in this case we want to write bytes so w, w, the w and this b so write bytes as uh, well, let's call this as image as image again and and now we need to iterate over what is known as content chunks so i say for chunk in uh, response dot iterate content and also we need to specify the chunk size here uh, equals to 148 like this and uh, here uh, we can simply say uh, image dot write and the chunk as the parameter 
So that's kind of it. So let's actually try to test, test that out. And also let's print some debugging information here. So I say print uh, downloading image. Uh, and then, uh, okay, image from, oh, maybe we don't need the, those uh, quotes, uh, downloading image from URL, uh, specifying the URL as well, so here we'll use the file name. And here the URL respectively. So let's actually try to run this. Uh, okay. Downloading image. Okay, so oh, that's not not yet what we really need, but because we didn't specify the uh, classes. But still, here in the images, uh, well, let's actually make sure that something has been downloaded there. Okay, th these are from the pre from my previous. Uh, okay, no, it's it's actually wrong. It's actually wrong here. So yeah, so the image has been downloaded here. Let's just remove this and show you this one more time. So just running the scraper. Okay, so the image has been just downloaded. So uh, actually, this works, and now we can uh, uh, remove this break from uh, break statement from look from our loop and let's actually try to uh, scrape uh, all the images available and here we'll, in this window we will be uh, tracking the download downloading process so just invoke my scraper again and here we go so here are our images okay So this is this is kind of it. Let's have a look at them. So here are our images. Okay, guys. So this is it for this video. I hope uh, you learned something interesting from this. So until next time, and take care.